You were caught cheating. I confronted you about it. I kicked you out of the apartment. You stayed with my friends for about a week and you were supposed to come back, but you were still talking to the person who you were cheating on me with. So I ended the relationship with you in the end of September. Several months go by, we I try to distance myself from you. I can only deal with you in very small dosages. And eventually, because we're both on the lease, I allow you to move back in in January. We have we go into separate bedrooms because we need different spaces from one another. And yet some way, somehow, despite all of this, despite you sending me photos of the guy you cheated on me with, despite you... <laughs> Um, bragging to be bragging to me about how wonderful he is and how he was so much better than me in every possible way good for you you then blame me and say that the reason you got taken advantage of by this guy is because I broke up with you making bad decisions does not mean that whatever happened to you is justified or that somebody deserved it that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying that if you make bad choices you have to live with yourself knowing that you made those bad choices Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new a video and if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and if you're willing to go that extra mile, go ahead and subscribe. Today I just want to give you a quick update on what's going on with Maya and Repsion and it, I gotta say, this woman has not heard of the Streisand effect at all. She must not have because she's not doing it any justice. Now, over the past few days, Maya has gone ahead and false privacy complaint Dan's video in an attempt to silence him because she doesn't like being exposed for the person that she is. You chose to meet a random stranger who you had spoken to for less than a month off of OnlyFans. And you can't deal with the fact that you allegedly got taken advantage of by this person. So you'd rather blame me, and that's not going to fly with me. You're not going to blame me for shit like that. For once in your goddamn life, take responsibility for what you have said. She complains about one-sided stories. However, she won't even let Dan have his story out there, which kind of begs the question, is there a reason for why you're doing this? And why can't you go one day without being a gosh darn hypocrite? what you have done. And maybe there'll be hope for you. Before I end this video, I want to say a few more things in rebuttal to my ex. Another claim she made is that I stole her cat. This is completely untrue. She already had her own cat when we started dating. Uh, when she moved in, her cat actually escaped. And for a whole week, the cat was gone. And we went and got another cat together as a couple, and then that same week I, we got the secondary cat, her cat came back, and now we had two cats. She had a dog, I had a dog, uh, I had a dog. She had a cat, now I had a cat. It was a couple's cat, so we got it together, and when we officially broke up, I gave her an option. I said, hey, this was the, this was a, this is a he said, she said conversation, but this is what happened for, in my, from my side. I said, hey, X, I'm leaving next week, do you want my PS5 or do you want the cat Dennis? And honestly, I'm going to be really, really upfront with this. You choosing a PS5 over this little amazing human, this raccoon, was the best decision you ever made in over two and a half years. Now I'm playing you little bits and pieces of Dan's two hour video just to show you how terrible and why rather Maya would want the video taken down in the first place. It obviously doesn't bring her in the best possible light. However, I think what gets her the most and what makes her freak out the most and makes her want to take down this video is that there's a lot of truth in it. And quite frankly, as far as exposed videos go, well, this is the perfect exposed video. There's no fabrication. There's no missing context. There's none of that. It's why the video is so damn long in the first place. Two hours of Dan just exposing Maya over the years and what he has to put up with or was had to put up with for the longest time. Again, thank you for making that decision of choosing my PS5 over a cat. Because no superficial console that has a value of probably $1,200 now is worth the amount of love and affection 
that a cat gives. Dennis and Mara love each other. They sleep together now. Also, when we were together, I paid for the cat everything. I paid for the medical bills, I paid for his, uh, his, his snipping, all that stuff. It's all in my name. I have the paperwork all in my name. So in, in what deluded world you want to live that I, I stole your cat? That's not true. That didn't happen. I could not be more cordial with leaving you what I did and helping you the way that I did when I left. Which is another thing. So we're gonna go back to remember the start of this video how I said she kept messaging me and messaging me and messaging me and messaging me after I cut contact with her? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go into my phone, right? So this is in April um, and there was an exchange. We had a huge gigantic exchange. She was mad over a TikTok that I made which she thought was about her. It was about all relationships in general. It was not about her. Um, I just said my last text message to her was, it's not about you. Um, but this is what happened. So I left. Uh, my last acknowledgement to her was saying, was not everything's about you. And the last, any acknowledgement I did was a thumbs up on the comment, as you can see right here. And we're gonna scroll through, just casually, just take a look at this, right? And Maya Moore just goes ahead and she, she wants to silence him because God forbid the truth gets out. She can't handle the truth. She lives in delusion on a regular, guys. And this, <laughs> well, it, w it wouldn't be very, uh, it wouldn't be a very happy time for her, let's say that. Which again makes sense because she's not used to the truth. Uh, and, and you know what, Maya, if I have to say one thing to you, it's the truth will set you free, girl. So maybe you should go ahead and start embracing it. You know, maybe a brand new start. I know a lot of people aren't willing to give you this leeway, but, um, you know, rightfully so, mind you, too, because you're still acting like an immature brat to this day. You know, you're going ahead and you're leaving comments like this or tweets like this where you're saying that because one suspicious account went ahead and said all this deranged shit to you that Dan approves of this when there's nothing showing legitimacy that it is connected to Dan in any way. And you've got to know that this character attack is just plain dishonest and stupid, Maya. But you continue to go with it, and you continue to bury yourself, and you continue to make people look at you a certain way, and you know, if there's a silver lining to all this, it's kind of funny, it, it's, it's kind of great how you go ahead and you manage to fuck things up. You know, it, it's, it's, it's burying you, Maya. It's doing more bad than good to you. I hope that you appreciate that. I hope that you like that it's going to bite you in the ass at the end of the day. Because that's what karma does, Maya. That's what karma's about, and that's what you're going to get. You're going to get your just desserts, and I'm not going to let people forget about all the, 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 the stuff you're doing. Because, again, Repsion is a good person. You know, he's just trying to live his life. He's found happiness. You know, he's in a good place right now. And you just continue to try to ruin it, which is very selfish of you. Just like I said, I cut contact with this person because they violated my privacy. And I didn't speak to him. Still haven't spoken to him. Still haven't spoken to him. You know, how many months did this go on of you just continuously texting me, asking me for more money after I gave you over $4,000? Hmm? We're still going. Huh. Fascinating. Wait, hold up. So I don't really know the context of this, but she reached out to me. Apparently somebody shot up like her apartment or something. I don't know the context of this. I don't know anything that happened outside of what this text, these text messages say. I'm just saying this to clarify because I don't know. Maybe she's going to try to pin this on me that I hired a hitman or something. No. I don't know the context of this. I don't know what happened. Quite frankly, I also don't give a flying fuck. It's not my business. I walked out. I'm gone. I cut contact. And any interaction with her will never happen ever again. Maya, if you want to be all shady and whatnot, there are a lot more shady things out there correlating to you, right? You want to go ahead and say that, oh, Dan approves of this kind of whatever it is, you know, whatever this fuckery that you got in DMs is, right? You know, well, we have this out there, you know, people, you know, going ahead and showing this. So, you know, this could easily be you 
Uh, you know, if people didn't want to be charitable to you, which to be honest, they, they really shouldn't because of all the shit you do and have done. If people really wanted to go ahead and not be charitable to you, which you pretty much brought on yourself at this point, they could go ahead and say, oh, this these, these, these are 100% legitimate. And Maya, they don't make you look good, right? They don't make you look like a victim. They make you look like you have a lot of problems, you know? And the, pro the, the, the real issue with this is the way you present yourself and the type of person that you've shown to be makes people not want to help you. You know, when they see someone with your problems, they don't want to help you because of how fucked up you've been to other people. Essentially, you have to have some redeeming qualities about yourself and you, quite frankly, have very little uh, other than your OnlyFans account. So, other than that, and, and by the way, that's not even very good in itself. And you probably know that as well. So, Maya, please stop. This needs to stop. This madness needs to stop for your well-being, you know, as well as everybody else's. Stop trying to drag people down, you know, just because you can't find happiness. You know, you should focus more on trying to find happiness for yourself rather than to drag others down. But that's just Mr. Sen's opinion. No relation to Mr. Medicker. Guys... If you enjoyed this video and if you share my sentiments, please like and share this once again. I will keep you in the loop for everything that's happening with this woman, you know, because we need to make people aware. We need to realize that she is a wolf in sheep's clothing, essentially. We need to, you know, just so we can have Repsion have a good life for once and enjoy himself because everybody deserves happiness. Everybody, at least, that is shown to be as good of a person as Dan, especially lately, has proven to be. Now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, wherever you might be. Day, night, evening, twilight. Good night, everybody. Have a good one. Peace.